so what's up welcome back today I have a review slash haul slash kind of demo um, American Eagle recently expanded their denim lines up to a size 24 um, and one of you guys told me about it so I am very excited to try that it was so funny because the day that comment was posted I had actually just placed an order so I was like oh my god I love when we're like on the same wavelength you guys like I love that so much. So today we are taking a look at the new extended sizes of denim over at American Eagle. I have a long, long love affair with American Eagle. When I first moved to the States, they were one of the first places I went to and I used to buy polos on polos on polos on polos on polos with a stupid little bird and remember when like layering your polos was a thing so i would like layer a navy one and a pink one and i would like pop the pink collar like i was cool and stuff or have like a little bit of pink at the bottom i thought it was all the cool um and then i would like wear the t-shirts and everything but i could never fit into the jeans because they were always like I always felt like they ran small. So when I heard about this extended line, I figured, you know what, based on my history with them, I'm going to size up to a 22 instead of my normal 20, thinking that they'd go down the junior plus kind of realm of sizing. Um, and they do, but like a bit. So I definitely feel like for ordering, I would really order your torrid size. Um, everything fits me, most everything fits me pretty well, but I will say, um, for ordering i will say they do run mostly true to size maybe a little small and in one case exceptionally small so i am going to jump right in with the first pair so as i mentioned everything is in a size 22 and all styles will be linked down below if anything is out of stock as per usual i will link an alternative um so these first pair of jeans i was so excited to get i love the light wash i love the distressing kind of um but the main thing i love about them is the pop is the um button fly i think that's really cool um i was a little nervous with these because sometimes with a lighter fabric and a denim i'm sorry a button fly on a pair of jeans just kind of like makes me choke on my hair um it just kind of makes my stomach like super accentuated and that's definitely not the vibe for me um amazingly these actually give me such a great kind of um smoothing effect i'm really really in love with that um the only main issue i'm having is that when you hold them up and they're not stretched out the distressing looks great when i put my thickums old thighs in there this is, goes this direction and then i end up these little kind of rips end up like this and then what happens sausage casing I look like one of those pork loins that you like tie strings around, you know, and then you put it in the oven where you make the big long, you know what I'm talking about? Um, I don't know about you guys, not my favorite aesthetic, like not my favorite aesthetic to be like taking every step and having like just fat puffing out um, in between each hole. Um, so super heartbreaking about these because I think from a fit perspective spot on from a like somehow magically smoothing in the in the midsection area spot on like I'm truly truly in love with these jeans but this distressing man it just doesn't work for me so I mean if you guys have been around for a while you know that I'm pear shaped and my thighs are massive like i have huge thighs um and so i will say that if you look at me and you say okay well i'm kind of shaped like crystal or i'm like the same size as her but i have smaller legs um this might actually work really well for you because you're not going to experience that sausage casing stuffed situation that's totally happening here um so I, I might cut this out i'm not sure i really like them um this is the high-rise jegging crop a style that I would one trillion percent recommend. Um, I would just be careful about that. Um, again, I can talk about these jeans forever because it breaks my heart, but I really truly love them. They even have distressing at the hemline, which is super fun to put them in, put them on because your toes get stuck in this little area. But once they're on, they look so good, you guys. Oh, it kills me. But um, this, this part makes it a hard pass for me, so I am gonna go on their website as soon as I am done filming this, and I'm gonna be ordering some more because um, as you'll see in this video, these may be my new holy grail jeans. And I say that having spent hundreds of dollars on good American jeans, I think these might be better. 
but let's keep on going. Okay, so the next pair of jeans I have a very love-hate relationship with, but what I figured out is that it's a style thing, uh, a style skew for them. So I ordered a pair of these high-rise skinny jeans. I believe that's what they're called, high-rise skinny jeans, um, and they have a good bit of stretch to them. I love how these look until you get to the knee and down. If you saw my um, inside the dressing room with uh, Macy's, I have uh, I was wearing them in the, in the before portion, and then I did wear these, and I have been wearing these just to see if you're going to get sagging in the tush or how they're going to stretch over time because they are a more affordable denim. I was concerned that they were going to like blow out in the butt or the thighs would get saggy, and I feel like that kind of happens, but not nearly as much as you'd expect for a pair of jeans that is like $50, but is usually on sale. Um, so I'm very, very impressed with that. The thing that I hate about these um, is that the bottom, these are meant to be a skinny, and if you have wide ankles, and I feel like I need to stress that you have exceptionally wide ankles and maybe skinny jeans or jeggings that are tapered at the ankle are too tight for you and you can't wear them, these may be perfect for you. For me, the only dainty parts of my body are my shoulders, my wrists and hands, and my ankles and feet. Everything else is like puffy, right? So this width at the bottom kind of makes it look somewhere between a skinny jean meets a straight leg jean meets a boot cut jean, and it made a baby and that baby is exceptionally confused. So these are just, I I don't know. I talked to Amelia and we, are, might, we might do a DIY on how to like take these in, because I'm hoping we could just take in the stitch. I don't know, I'm gonna talk to her about it. Um, Oh, I hate the bottom of these jeans, but beyond that, fantastic, super soft, really nice stretch, not too much stretch. I have been wearing them on and off for about a week now. I have not noticed any excessive stretching in the butt and or thigh area. I feel like the fit's still really good. It's retaining its shape. Um, highly, highly impressed with the quality of these jeans. Um, and. I feel like every day I, I reach for them, I get more and more excited that American Eagle decided to expand their sizing because um, if you've had a hard time finding jeans, I think this might be, she might be the one. Okay, this next style, um, whereas the ones before I didn't like the bottom but love the top, these ones I kind of have the opposite feeling for. And you know for someone who's very excited about these jeans, I have a lot of negative things to say, but I really wanna go over details because denim shopping as a plus size woman is, as a woman in general, as a human, as a as an alien as a terrar terrestrian terrarian people as folks it's just a friggin nightmare right so i want to go over as much as possible and offer alternate fit tips so i apologize if this video gets a little bit long um these are the high-rise crop flare in the super stretch the issue i have with these is that they're just not as high rise as i personally would like and there's whiskering right here on both sides for the stomach. So what this really does, and pardon my language y'all, but it makes me look so gutty, like it's just gut central. Um, and that's not really what I like because I wear bodysuits a lot and crop tops a lot and so I like to get like as smooth of a fit around my hips and stomach as I possibly can so that the lines are clean. And what this does is it just adds lines and creates creases where I don't want creases personally. Now I will say if you're someone that doesn't carry a lot of weight in their stomach, this might actually be great. If you're like a plus size girl with narrow hips, this would actually give you width and balance out your frame. If you're like an inverted triangle shape where your shoulders tend to be wider and your arms tend to be wider than the bottom half of you, Something like this will actually add balance to your body by giving the illusion of wider hips. Um, wider hips is not something this girl is in need of. That being said, if I wore a longer length shirt with this, like a peplum or something, I feel like I would keep them and I would get away with it because the bottoms are really cute. So they're kind of frayed and they're, they're chic and I love the crop length on them. I think they look really great with a pair of wedges or heels. Um, so they are a great pair of jeans from a quality standpoint, really happy with them. There's a good amount of stretch in there. They fit just fine, but this whiskering, um, is just a hard pass for me a hard 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 pass okay one more one more complaint and then i'm going to get on to the pair of jeans that got me thinking that these may be this this ae line may be my holy grail so this next pair unfortunately i can't show you because they did not even go up past my thighs which really sucks they are 100 percent cotton so if you 
are of the genre of person that likes a non-stretch denim first of all peace be god be with you that's that's some crazy stuff right there i can't i need stretch in my life especially in my denim like just there's that's the rule for me um so i got this pair of 90s boyfriend jeans they are 100 percent cotton as i mentioned so there's zero stretch i got these up to like my thighs and then it was like ah! like no like do not pass do not go do not pass go do not collect 200 dollars like this is just where the game ends heartbroken because i'm really into this whole button fly thing that they're doing um and i never have like this wash i never have this wash of like this kind of dark black and it was like a straight leg with some cool cuts and stuff and i thought you know what maybe this could be fun to wear with my sneakers or something um and i could not get them on so these are definitely going back um again the not to speak to the quality i feel like the quality is there but the fit on these are just non-stretch and they're very stiff like very stiff so um if you are i would say if you're a size 18 yeah, 22 might work for you. So if you're size 20, get a 24. I would definitely size up at least one, if not two, in this style in particular. So unfortunately, these didn't work for me. Okay, 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 okay. I know, the complaining is over. I get it, I'm sorry. Because these guys are here. And I love them. I love them. Like, how I got this kind of a pair of jeans for like, 30 or 40 dollars i just can't i just ugh. okay um these are one million trillion percent good american vibes now obviously the quality isn't there and the attention to detail on the buttons and stuff definitely not the same however if you're in a budget and you want that high-waisted kardashian like hip accentuations tummy sucking sexy oh my god girl vibes these are the ones you guys these are the ones they are the 360 next level stretch jegging the jegging seems to be the ticket for me um we're getting a very nice tight bottom look at the aunt look at that it's nice and tight it's nice and tight around the ankle great length minor whiskering in the like minor like minor 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 not like the light denim with the white sandblasting we are getting like minor whiskering here i prefer it if there was no whiskering but i will take this because the fit is so good they are so high rise they hold me in they accentuate my hips and make my butt look great girl i am just over the freaking moon about these jeggings yeah they're called the highest rise jegging I can't say enough good stuff. I love the traditional denim uh, gold contrast stitching. Um, great stretch. I feel like I could do lunges in these. I believe these are the ones I did in the triumph portion where I was dancing around like a, like a dingbat. Um, yeah, amazing. I feel like these and also the other ones where I don't like the bottoms, these look so great in the midsection, waist, and upper thigh area, um, which is such an area that, um, you know, everybody loves their body and all that stuff, but it's still possible to have insecurities and it's still possible to have parts of your body that you want to change. Um, and, and that midsection area for me is definitely one of those places. Um, and so these jeans really minimize that. Again, make my butt look great. So comfortable. Could wear them for hours and hours and hours lightweight great stretch um i don't know how they wear out on the thigh we'll definitely discuss that as the summer goes on as i will be wearing these a ton um but these are the jeans that have completely sold me on american eagle okay guys so that is it for me and this review slash haul i do apologize for the length but i wanted to go really in depth because i think it's so important as i mentioned denim shopping is a nightmare for everyone and so i want to give you as much information as possible so that you can choose the right fit for you um i really would strongly urge you to check these guys out um I am just so blown away, honestly, at the overall quality, even though the repairs that didn't work for me, um, it doesn't mean that they were bad denim. It means that they just didn't work for my body type or my denim preferences. Um, it also doesn't help that I'm exceptionally picky when it comes to my jeans. And I always want to look as snatched as possible with a ton of like movement space and I want them to be like really tight on my ankle. I have a lot of boxes to tick when it comes to denim. so. Anyway, I hope this was helpful to you. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be done rambling in just a second. So I wanna thank you guys for hanging out with me today and spending a part of your day with me. I so, so appreciate you. Don't forget to leave your request down below and comment and let me know what your favorite pair of jeans was that I tried on today and have you tried out the new American Eagle extended sizes? What do you think? Are something that you're gonna go check out? 
like are you as excited as I am like I am so ready to go and like get like purge my denim collection and just get every iteration of the jegging that I possibly can. I'm so, so stoked. Um, don't forget to hit subscribe on the way out and like this video if you liked it and hit the notification bell. I wish we could say that. Hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. We are on the way to five videos a week. We are currently, what, at two, three videos a week? So look at me being all productive with my amazing team and all of that. So anyway, that is it for me. I love you guys so much. I'll see you next time.